How you going, Sagittarius? We're going to do a quick spiritual message for you and see what comes out. As you'll see, we start with nothing. It's a fresh message, and we'll just see what uh, Spirit's got for you for today. I hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for uh, coming to watch me. And um, if something resonates, can you give me a like or subscribe, leave me a comment? Other than that, we're pretty much going to get straight into it and see what comes out for the energies. Split the deck so it's completely random. Ooh. Past. Ooh. Ooh. Everything in your world. You might be shutting yourself off from the world at the present moment. You have abundance coming in where you're hoping for it, which is magnificent. They're spiritually guided away from the past. In the fear, yeah, there's the past as soon as I split the cards. There's some sort of ending here, man. There was some sort of tower moment in the past. Energies in like they're receiving karma as you can see that, but we've made a choice here from the past by trusting your intuition around whatever that was by putting your boundaries in place. All that did was split the deck, but your anger is in place towards the past. It's like a resilience of a wounded warrior, and I can see the wounded warriors in that energy, that's for damn sure. But abundance coming in into the future, it's alpha to the omega, so it shows it will come in, which is magnificent, but it's planting the seed to growth at the present moment. Have a look at their energies, man. Oh, no victory. Chariot upright is all victory, so there's no victory there. You've made a choice to be moved away from that. Whatever town moment that was. Strength is in your heart. Very, very strong heart. You're fearless around the town moment. You co-create with spirit. That's magnificent. You're a divine blessing. The cup overflows within thyself, which is magnificent. And there's the counterpart coming in and in the past it's, it has been completed out that's that's for sure because there's a completion to it for the introspection that comes in afterwards and there's their abuse and there's their abuse too and they haven't addressed the shadows and they're not a divine blessing the divine blessing is you so you can see their cards in itself yeah alpha to the omega literally the same cards have come out but it's in there it shows that the past was a learning lesson or a learning curve or something and that's why the tower moment had to come around worked very very hard into your future might have been a lot of deception a lot of trickery a lot of a lot of mind games a lot of illusions might have been a lot of secrets there or something like that a lot of um fighting around the explosive emotions um aggression um definitely manipulation it, the the growth is within your soul to manifest because this is you here if that makes sense everything else there's their energies in the world their energies in the mind and heart and then unforeseen and then their energies there into the future. You have some sort of divine counterpart coming in, but it's given more um, healing from whatever, whatever this, whatever this is in, is in the past. They're not a divine blessing. You can see that the divine blessing is double emphasis in your energy, so it shows good news coming in. Okay, but you're growing and healing at the present moment from whatever choice you've made to move away from this in the past with introspection because the introspection in the world to address those shadows, which is magnificent as you're spiritually guided away to trust your intuition, man, big time around the past. And they, okay, before we even pull the cards for their energies at the present moment, they have to be receiving karma for their manipulation because there's abuse. Okay, there's their abuse. Um, old dog, new tricks. You can't teach an old dog, new tricks. Abuse, keeping you stagnant. It shows you were losing yourself in that world, which is you might have been very, very lonely in that world, extremely lonely and shut off from the world. And man, they might have been very, 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 very um, sharp or very cold in their communication. You had to use your words wisely around them. They were emotional, mean, or in like just mean. Very, very, very mean. Like a drama queen. Yeah, very, very disconnected from their emotions. That soul, very, very clouded judgment, very mean and very callous. 
their egos is why they, it couldn't couldn't work because of their ego which is why the foundation is you now leading into the future and there's no foundation in the past which is why you're spiritually guided away two cards of spiritual guidance and choice in between it so it shows you we're stuck in between a rock and a hard place there like i said it's their ego and that's why it's been completed out because of their abuse the same card underneath it and they abused it far out it's a learning curve for you to trust your intuition. It's a learning curve for you. Your cup is overflowing in yourself. Okay, not so much at the present moment as they receive their karma around manipulation, but you're growing through whatever manipulation that was because the tower moment had to come around so you could address the shadows of whatever shadows of this idiot was. It does show somebody who was uh, very, very... Um, I don't want to say mystery. No, I want to say more... Yeah, like keeping secrets there might have been secrets there or just lies or something might have had a hidden agenda and we've got abuse see the same two cards come out here and there's their card in their energy so it does show that it's completed out because they're abusive uh very very manipulative very very ruled with an iron fist very very overly pragmatic could have been very very selfish it's been released now and there she is there it's been released now because they were very, very cold in their manipulation. Very, you, you couldn't communicate with this person. You could not talk. They were not good news, which is why it had to be released. And there's released baggage around any friends, family, or lover, whatever that was. Yeah, because of the options. Put a lot of illusions into your life, man. It's just come straight out there at the bottom there. So Spirit's put an emphasis on the illusions that this person manipulated your mindset, which is why they get karma for manipulation. And there's explosive emotion, but spirits put an emphasis on your head and your heart being extreme strength. If that makes fearless in the head, fearless in the heart, since the tower moment come around and the introspection you've taken place is like big time boss, energy boss, 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 energy boss, and, and how bossed energy you were leading towards it. You might have been, you might have thought it was a twin flame connection. You might have thought it was soulmate connections. You might have been married to the person in a very, very long relationship with, but there was imbalances there. The choices that you made from the past to trust your intuition to be spiritually guided away, to put that foundation into the ground, which is yourself, which brings good news, brings you in the divine counterpart into the future because what everything you've come through brings you to the empress here to trust that intuition to lead yourself to your emperor. So it is a learning curve, but in your energy at the present moment, um, you're just growing through whatever worries or depression or anxiety or stresses or paranoia or whatever that was. Um, they will receive karma for that because there's the manipulation, there's the abuse, there's a the completing out, and there's big time abuse as well. You've got to understand that they're a divine blessing in reverse, okay? Your, your divine blessing is straight underneath there, which is yourself, but it does show new love coming in eventually. But we'll have a look now as, as we go into this, and then we'll have a look at the outcome. All right, man. First card, trials and tribulations. Yeah, past, if that makes sense. That's a great card to come out for the first card, okay? The reason is that card means this. It's just an absolutely beautiful card to start with. It means manifesting new opportunities, beginnings, good news, because that's good news too coming for your energy as well. You're manifesting good news because that's manifesting good news. Okay, but when we go back to the past, it shows why the Hierophant's out in the heart is by manipulating your heart. And you can't manipulate a heart like that, especially not when the cup's supposed to overflow and you co-create with spirit. So it shows that. But this card, yeah, is beginning ambition, skills and training, financial opportunities, but new connections, exploring stages of life, making those plans a reality and doing it fearlessly, by the way. There's the King of Pentacles as well. There's the enthusiastic new beginning. And then there's the love. Your love is there. They're not. They're not a divine blessing. Whatever you dealt from the, with from the past, it, it was hiding you away from um, who you are as a soul and hiding you away from what you deserve, leading towards the future. Because it's good news coming in. So beat to your own drum. Okay, it's bad news for that person because they're short-sighted, arrogant, and manipulative, and temper uh, temperamental, which is why now it had to be released. Because you co-create with spirit and spirit doesn't want that cup overflowing into the past. Wants that cup overflowing into the future. See, same card as it gets released here because they were cold and manipulated. 
You've made the right choice to trust your intuition from the past because they're in reverse over here, the Queen of Swords. Um, it shows why, if that makes sense, is your abundance in, is in your hopes leading towards the future because there's the abundance and the hopes. Okay, there's the choice you made from the Queen to the Queen here in itself to step away from that because you were like, you weren't free there, if that makes sense. You weren't free to be the Empress and beat to your own drum and be the person that Spirit led you to be, which is why Spirit says release any burdens and know your worth. Your stability is coming into the future. There's the Ace of Pentacles, which goes into the ground. Then it comes through with the abundant new beginning. And that's beautiful. Beat to your own drum as you work hard with spirit to bring that foundation in. Okay. And yeah, man, friends, family, or lovers, man, it's the same card here. It's the same card here, man, if that makes sense. So it shows thoroughly that a friend's family or lover put you down and hurt you and put you into that energy. And that's why they receive karma for the illusions. Uh, before we come up, I'm just cupping up with the illusions here. The seven of cups is illusions. Just looking at all the illusions. And then it comes up with the moon. So the moon highlights things we can't see. You're free now from it, leading into the future, which is your victory to bring in that Ten of Cups, which is magnificent, as a past was a learning curve, and to step in the right direction. Yeah, very, 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 very manipulative from the past, very manipulative, and very, very smug, and very, very manipulative at that, very, very cold in their communication as well. Uh, there might have been some sort of big time emotional abuse there. Um, they might have controlled or made you suppress your emotions. Uh, they made you feel insecure. They needed to listen more. They were irrational, emotionally immature, and they were forgetting the heart, if that makes sense. And it's moody. And we can see the manipulation of the heart. So it does put emphasis on that in itself. But everything in the future is magnificent, except for those two cards, which are coupled with the illusions that somebody put into your life. So Spirit's saying here with these cards here, explain why all of these cards are here. Does that make sense? Yeah, man, your hopes are coming into the future and we're losing faith or losing hope there in the past because they're emotional abuse, um, because they were like, um, there might have been a lot of fighting in the past, and a hollow victories, uh, because it starts with ego up here as well, um, around hollow victories where nobody wins, nobody wins other than the ego of somebody, so they do things to hurt people, um, and it could have been a lot of psychic attacks and it shows the victory was the movement away from that because they're a victory in reverse here. They're also a blessing in reverse. And it shows that victory led you towards the future of being able to trust your intuition around their illusions of friends, family, or lovers with double emphasis on that as you release any burden stepping towards the future. And that's magnificent to bring in that good news, which is beautiful because whatever you're hoping for is abundance and you're addressing the shadows to be more present in your world at the present moment. But you were definitely ostracized and you were definitely like being shut away from the world over here. I can see it over there in the corner and spirit doesn't want you with these two cards here like that. Once you're fearless in your mindset, fearless in your heart to step towards things of that new foundation when it comes in because there's a foundation in the new foundation with whatever it is. But yeah, we definitely had an ending here and the victory is right there. As soon as I lifted up, there was a victory to have walked away. The victory is within the rebirth leading towards the future, which is magnificent. This could be the past, let alone the future. They're just energies. They're the energies I see, but that's what they are. They're energies. So it could put prediction to whatever it is or put prediction to what's coming into the future because I do see love coming into the future, but it's at the end of the future here. So it's like Spirit says, just do you. And get let that karma will do its thing for the manipulation that they deserve here in the past. Uh, the energies we've got here is uh, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Cancer. We've got uh, Sagittarius. We've got the Devil there, which is Capricorn. We've got Aquarius there. You got to understand the whole reading's given hope. That's what I mean. It's the underlining now for the whole reading is this card here, which is Hope, the Star. Yeah, it's just spiritually guided away from something where you were losing hope in. So it shows the hope is leading towards the future because you address the shadows there to step towards that. And that's magnificent. You could have been dealing with a Virgo and Aries. You could have been dealing with an Aries, a Taurus as well. Taurus is there. We've got Earth sign up there as well. Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo. Double emphasis on that as well. And we've got Scorpio up there. And the energy you're in. Gemini energy. Man, we got so much cancer here, it's not funny, eh? Double emphasis on Taurus too, double emphasis on Virgo, big time Virgo. However, they're just energies. We got Pisces there as well. Scorpio again, Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. It's a lot of lot of emotion here. There's a lot of emotion in this reading, that's what I mean. A lot of emotion considering the energy here as well. 
whatever it was, it was a tower moment. It's a big tower moment, that's for sure, because there's major here. One, two, three, four, four major arcana. In the energies, four major arc, five, six, seven, eight, eight, nine major arcana out of a certain amount of cards. The rest are all boss energy other than the choice, spirit, spiritually guided away. And the abundance coming into the future, otherwise that is just your co-creating with spirit. So spirit wants that cut to overflow and their overflowings here into the future. And the past wasn't very, very good. Well, I'll have a look at the outcome because everything comes down from these cards here, explains why. And then this is the reason we don't turn these cards is because I don't want to predict it beforehand. I want it to come through this way. And then we have a look that way to make sure it comes through Sagittarius. Yeah, man. That card's in the future, and it's coupled with clarity. Okay, there's clarity in what I'm about to say, but I'm gonna, I'll do the negative first. Um, man, you were dealing with somebody with lies, man. See the signs in the background? Lies or manipulation in the past that were short-sighted, arrogant, and temperamental. You couldn't be yourself there. You couldn't beat to your own drum. And the good news is for you to walk away from them. The bad news is for them because they get the karma. But it, they were short-sighted, arrogant, mean, temperamental, and very just short-sighted and arrogant like it's the best way to say that and the, the fact that smugs around this cold and vindictive person who's irrational and emotionally immature does also say that as well but these are in the outcome and the fact that we've got amen here which is ace of swords is amen which is clarity or it's um truth if that makes sense so be it um it shows to beat to your own drum leading towards the future with victories coming in but it also shows clarity in this reading that the good news is coming into the future so this has to be a clarity reading for somebody because it's in the outcome is ace of swords is clarity that's that card there you've got good things coming into the future okay you're embracing your future self and you're thinking about um your past memories and you're addressing them okay and you you've got good things coming in it's because your sheer confidence is magnificent and it's it's really 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 bold confidence at that and it's in the outcome so it's coupled with clarity to beat to your own drum so that a pundits comes in because there it is there those two cards boom 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 and then that card this card here and then that card here is here it shows you the best thing you could have ever done is just beat to your own drum and 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 not allowed them to have be in your life anymore because all it was was a learning curve to grow around their manipulation, around their abuse, like they're very, very abusive. They were uh, broken promises, lies, slander. It's giving lies even in the outcome. So just remember that too. And then there's secrets as well. So you've made a choice and she's got, they've both got their eyes closed and blinded by those secrets. So it's like spirits giving somebody clarity around something here in this reading. But when we go back for the past, it does show that somebody was very, very, very um, arrogant and very, very manipulative. There might have been infidelity there. Yeah, they definitely made you feel insecure. They might have been extremely jealous, but there was hidden aspects to this person's personality. They were very egotistical and selfish, and they had a big need for external validation, which is why their pentacle never went into the ground into your life, because you can't have, can't grow that, and it puts emphasis as we go back through to the past. And then that's a clarity read, because everything in these energies here explains why this is, and then it gives me the chance to understand why that's there. You've made the right choice. Whatever it is, you've made the right choice because you trusted your intuition and that's magnificent because there's a choice and the choice into intuition. Thank you, spirit. And then there's the illusions that the friends, family, or lover put into your life and it's double emphasis on illusions at the same time. So spirit wants you to release any burdens and know your worth because the stability is here into the future and it's beautiful. And the whole thing is centered around you having inner peace because it hasn't been a very peaceful time and that cup needs to overflow. That's what that cup is, an overflowing of love. And when you put that ace with that nine of swords there, whatever that was, was only leading you towards your growth to co-create with spirit and manifest the beautiful things coming into the future, but not so good for them because we've got karma in that energy. Uh, what we're going to do now is we're just going to clarify everything with a complete fresh deck. Yeah, we shuffle everything up and do it on camera, but this, this has to be a clarity reading. You're manifesting beautiful things into your future, so just remember that. Man, it's all gone, but it also puts emphasis on their psychic attacks and bullshit they put you through. Well, this is not even a reversals deck. Spirit says it's right there, man. Whatever you dealt with was big time psychic attacks and manipulation. It has to be, because that's under there, and there's the Ten of Swords stabbing somebody in the back, and they were short sighted, arrogant, and temperamental. Spirit wants you to beat to your own drum, and that'll bring harmony in as you grow. 
Yeah, you, man, you're definitely dealing with somebody very jealous, maybe even very narcissistic. I mean, that type of in those two cards together with the manipulation, and it shows why they deserve their karma. Okay, because those cards are counteracted with that. You're working on yourself, man, because there's personal growth around their depression that they put into your life and sadness. They put a lot of sadness and depression into your life. You're working through that at the present moment, which is why I thought that you might have been shutting yourself off from the world, but you would be shutting yourself off as you've come through that finish line, and you might have been losing yourself there big time. Clarity, man. This is a clarity reading. These cards are unforeseen. Spirit wants you to know they're coming. So there's new... You, co you are co-creation. There's co-creation. So our team working with spirit to work towards it. And now it's coupled with clarity and it's also coupled with the Ace of Swords and the outcome. So these are coming in. This is why we put these there to put emphasis to what spirit wants you to know. And then there's the outcome. Ace of Swords to Ace of Swords. It's clarity. This is a clarity reading for somebody around some sort of lies of somebody very, very cold and manipulating who tried to play on your mindset. It's there thoroughly, let alone there as well. And then it's coupled with this card here. We can't even see it until it comes out. Sheer determination, man. You have had sheer determination and willpower to walk away from whatever that was in the past there to step towards it because that's a devil straight up. It ends with a devil and friends, family and lovers with illusions in between that. The, the Knight of Swords is somebody who is emotionally unavailable. So it shows this clarity there or around somebody's lies who put, they were emotionally unavailable. They're unbright. They might have bullied you big time. They thought they were a know-it-all. That's why the smug is there as well because this is just this card we're talking about. They were insensitive, unpredictable, and emotionally unavailable. And then there's smug as it leads towards that. Sometimes sometimes spirit can come around and kick that ass just because a person's smug. That's why you have to plan for your future, man, because you got the her hermit to the hermit. So you're definitely shutting yourself away from the world. See, the world, shutting yourself away from the world in there in the past, and spirit doesn't like that. Empress needs to shine. Male or female is irrelevant. Empress is unconditional love, and the unconditional love in this universe deserves to shine from the past. It's come out because it's up there as well. You couldn't be the foundation there because there was no foundation. That's why the tower moment come around, but you've been fearless at that stage. Yeah, man, you've been fearless around that love. That's why the tower moment had to come in. So spirit just wants you to heal, and that's fair, okay? Especially in these current energies, definitely, definitely heal, leading towards your future. Uh, man, we got four pentacles here, man. It's even in the outcome. Boom, 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 boom. They're not a pentacle, so it's out. But we've got to understand, it now gives a mirror reflection as to why. Because there's the ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles, ace of pentacles. Spirit is saying you have abundance, man, coming in big time. Ooh, and harmony. Oh, wow, you do co-create with spirit, and that's beautiful because that's spirit there as well. So you get the balance leading into the future, and that's magnificent with some sort of love. So it's just time for serendipity at the present moment as a new beginning comes in, and that's magnificent. That is beautiful for the future, man. Abundance in harmony, okay, by co-creating with spirit to bring balance in and serendipity in your new beginning, okay? And that's beautiful. Let's have a look at your heart here because you've definitely dealt with abuse. Horrifying in reverse is big time abuse. Yeah, release any burdens, man. Release any burdens. That's coupled to the, the four of pentacles. So release any burdens and know your worth and the stabilities in your future. So just release any burdens that played on that heart and beat your own drum, man. And release any burdens from the short-sighted, arrogant, mean, temperamental bastard that you've met before or whatever that is. Because in your world, cut them down with morals and integrity, yeah? You cut them down with morals and you cut them down with integrity. And that's clear communication. That's also in making decisive action in that world to step, talk, step away from that and step into your world and complete that out. Yeah, with unconditional love, man. You are unconditional love. That's the unconditional love of the Empress. So it shows you had to cut it out because it was playing on your heart. In your hopes, you've walked away to walk to something. You've walked away from conflict, man. You are so beautiful, right? All you've asked for, in theory, from spirit here in this reading is to just walk away from the conflict, mind games, and bullshit. That, that's beautiful. I've today another card. Because it's ended out now. Spirit's saying oh, it's all ended out. You've walked away from that. So you can have a freedom coming into the future. And that's it's like that's all you're hoping for. It's just inner peace. And that's beautiful, man. Because everybody asks for a million things of spirit. And stepping in the right direction, which is beautiful. Because turning your back on the past. He turns his back on the past. Step towards his journey. And sex, successfully completed out. From their abuse. But spirit's seen everything around their abuse, man. You, Man, you have to see. It's in the outcome now. It's there. It's coupled with the abundant new beginning, which is coming in because you put drive and determination into your soul and heart to get it. But the fact that that's in the heart as well. And then, man, 
those three cards, it shows it's completed out. Those, it's completed out now. You turn your back, completed it out because of their abuse. Two cards of abuse, man. But it also shows the emperor that's coming in, and they're, they're going to fucking regret it, man. I'm telling you, there's the blessing. Let's see the blessing that was offered, the Ace of Cups. There it is in the background. So they're going to regret their abuse. Friends, family, or lovers, man. I'm telling the truth. It's coming out in the outcome. Whatever illusions and shit they put into your life, they have to regret it. And you made the right choice to step away from that with strength. And it just comes out in those cards. Literally, in those two cards, you stepped away with the choice there from their illusions. And you're showing strength in your unconditional love to step towards life with the diplomacy. Away from somebody that trapped that mindset around broken promises, lies, or slander. And then it brings in the happiness and positivity because you learn the lesson. The whole thing was a lesson. All right, these are God, Angels, and Ancestor cards. So we're just going to pull a couple of cards and then leave it at that. This is a clarity read for somebody. Yeah, it's time to be calm at the present moment and put boundaries in place. Just be calm, as calm as you can and put boundaries in place. In the unforeseen here, we've got clarity. Yes, it made a spirit seen it, man, with clarity and seen their lies. Their lies made an impact into your life. Yeah, angels seen it, bro. I'm, I'm telling you the truth, man. Angels seen it. So it amplifies, the karma amplifies. Does it make sense? That's what it says there. The karma amplifies. So be at flow. As much flow as you can be leading towards the future because you have an abundant future and the strength is in your soul, you freaking strong individual. You're very, very protected. In your heart, beat to your own bridge, uh, beat to your own drum because you cross the bridge, but just release any burdens. And you're addressing shadows at your world or you may be shutting yourself off, but that needs to complete out so you can come at unconditional love as you have ancient knowledge within your soul and ancient knowledge is within you, which is truth. That's beautiful. In your hopes, it's ended out so you can walk away to free that mindset from mental jousting from somebody very cold and manipulative so you could see the abundance because they were fake. So you could be wise. You are wise, very wise. And in your outcome, just cleansing, man. Just cleansing from whatever fam friends, family, or lover that was. It's just part of your soul journey so you can learn to soul heal, man. Like, just heal. You've just got to heal, man. I'm, I'm telling you the truth. That's it. the breakthrough at the present moment would to be heal. Now, just before I end this out, see that? These are the current energies. They receive karma for what they did to you. See that? It's coupled with karma. They receive karma for doing that. She's so worried, scared, and sla just depressed, horrible. Spirit wants you to put boundaries in place. That's magnificent. Okay, and it's all a part of your soul journey. But Spirit says here, I've got, there's clarity. I've seen the lies that's taken an impact into your life. And all spirit wants you to do. This is it. It's just cleanse and heal the soul and with deep healing on your soul journey. So you can bring this abundance into your future and just know that you are very, very protected by your angels. Like very, very protected. But you can only be as protected as you can. You just need to put their boundaries in place and make sure that you know exactly who they are because that was a full on piece of shit. You've got an abundant new beginning coming into the future, and that's magnificent. But just if you take anything, just you, all of this is a learning curve. The spirit doesn't want you to be like that, man. They're very, very sad because of the manipulation, whatever that was. Well, they're even smug about it there in the picture. There's a smugness too around their cold and vindictive, manipulative way. See right there? And then there it is there in the energy. I come out in reverse, so it puts emphasis on psychic attacks, okay? Every card means something in my readings for a specific reason. But it does show that your spirit just wants you to heal in the crown and, and be a flow and be as calm as you can possibly be at the present moment. And just know that you're protected. Have a lovely, beautiful day. Take care and God bless.